Hi folks, Carlton from the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Just wanted to do a quick video about my uh, trip to Buffalo and back to pick my son up. Uh, he came across from the Canadian border. He was living in uh, Ontario. So, uh, just went out to pick him up and uh, had a good trip. Had nice weather for it, uh, fortunately. Uh, it was like, uh, I could hit a high of 45 and sunny. Nice dry road conditions. So I made the trip pretty easy. Have a couple of interesting stories from that. I'll, uh, I'll start with my starting story from the trip and then uh, on the end of this video I'll put the other story that happened during the trip. Um, pretty cool story, that second one. First story, uh, my mom had given me a carafe to put my coffee in. The, those of you that know me well know I'm a coffee fiend and I gotta have my coffee. And so I was just going to take some of my good coffee, my fresh roasted, fresh ground coffee that I get from uh, J.P. Peel here in Red Hook. Uh, I was going to take that with me and, uh, and just enjoy it on the trip and not have to stop for coffee. Uh, so she gave me this carafe and uh, I, you know, went through the trouble of brewing coffee and filling it up and setting it up. Get in the car, start for, uh, start for the New York State Thruway and on my first turn, uh, despite nestling it in, in amongst uh, some other cargo so it wouldn't fall over and all, it fell over and I hear this shatter. This is the first thing in the morning. I hear it shatter and I hear the coffee like gurgling all over the floor. <laughs> and I was so frustrated, so ticked. <laughs> so I stop and I get out and I go to like dump out what's left of the coffee and I, you know, drip coffee across my pants getting it out from the passenger seat across my lap and uh, dump the coffee out and I'm frustrated. <laughs> Threw the coffee container back in the car. I get back in the car and I'm like, well, I gotta get going just have to get coffee on the way and uh, I sat there and I told myself I'm not gonna let this ruin this trip it's really easy when something like that happens to you to be frustrated and to let that frustration carry with you throughout the day it's something I've struggled with all my life and uh, I think I'm getting better at it <laughs> anyway so I told myself it wasn't gonna ruin the trip I went on about my day and we had an excellent trip and that sort of ties in sort of a foreshadow for the second story which I'll put on the end of this video. Really cool story. So I hope you'll stay tuned and, uh, yeah, listen to the second one. Alrighty, it is February 22nd, 2020. It's about uh, 7.45 in the morning. And I'm on the New York Stoop, New York, New York Stoop, New York State Thruway north toward Albany to break west, bearing 270 from Buffalo. I'm going to pick Jeremy up in Buffalo, who's coming across the border from Canada. For those of you who don't know, Jeremy's my son. He's going to be 18 March 1st. And uh, I haven't seen him in a long time. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Uh, I usually uh, have a very different sleep schedule than this. So this being up uh, at the crack of dawn's butt in the morning is not my thing. So I'm running about three hours sleep, despite not drinking coffee most of the day yesterday. Trying to go to bed early last night. Still tossed and turned until you know, almost 3 a.m. Got up around 6. Well, uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's supposed to go up to like 45 or 47 today. Looking forward to seeing Jeremy. I know I'm going to be tired when I get home tonight. I got about 12 or 14 hours on the road ahead of me. Maybe I'll do another update in a bit. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, document a little bit here and the uh, audio.
a lock. For those who don't know, the Mohawk River connects to the Hudson River and on out to the Great Lakes region. It is uh, one of the major shipping transit routes that gets stuff in from the Atlantic Ocean to the uh, to the Great Lakes and to the Midwest part of the country. And I believe there's even a connection to the Mississippi River now. Uh, but it's really interesting to be rolling along the Mohawk. I remember reading about all those locks and, uh, and the, the whole job of creating the canal uh, that goes through the Mohawk River. But I kept seeing these green things and wondering, what is that? And then I realized when I saw one, uh, as I go, went by a little closer, uh, that there's an elevation change in the water there. And so that's what those are. Those are locks along the Mohawk River. Just thought I'd share a little bit of this ride as I cruise along through western New York. All right. service area. We're on vapors, but we're almost there. One mile. Quite a bit of this ice. Then I did a couple of shots in the trip. Got a shot of the locks in the Mohawk before. That's kind of cool. I've never seen those in person. So the second story, I uh, get out on minimal fuel, uh, very happy with how the Subaru Outback performs uh, fuel-wise, uh, 25 miles to the gallon, they say, and it actually does that. I did the mileage calculations. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> those that know me know that I'm a pretty technical person. I usually pay very close attention to fuel consumption, where my fuel tank is at, what my mileage is, where I'm at navigationally. Um, my dad was a pilot. We have pilots all through our family, and so we're pretty good at that sort of stuff. But uh, I got so busy talking with my son and catching up with him, and we were having such a great conversation that I wasn't paying attention to the fuel gauge or the mileage, or the time for that matter, and I didn't realize just how far we had gone. Well, we uh, got up back to uh, Utica, and about a mile and a half before exit 31, the, st the car starts cutting out on me. And, uh, and I'm, at first, it, like, I'm like, uh-oh, <laughs> what's going on here? So then I, I glance at the gauges quick, and I see the fuel gauges. Bink! All the way below the E. <laughs> I'm like, uh-oh, we're out of fuel. I didn't stop for gas. And God, do I feel like an idiot. And uh, <laughs> so we're wondering whether we're going to make it off the thruway. For those of you who've never traveled the New York State thruway, if you get stuck on the New York State thruway, you're going to pay a fortune to get it fixed. 
and I don't have AAA or any kind of, you know, uh, roadside assistance, so I'm on my own if that happens. So we get, uh, we get, we're rolling along, and I look up, and I see the sign for exit 31 for Utica. I said, oh, maybe we can make the exit one mile. We might actually make it. So I stay in the gas, and I keep our speed going. The whole time, the car is sputtering in and out. We're not sure we're even going to make the exit, let alone actually get off the throughway, off the exit. We get to the exit, and it's this uphill, slow incline turn. I'll throw a shot here from Google Earth in. And you can see where we started running out of fuel and where we made the toll booth. And uh, and Jeremy and I are both looking at each other and we're like, I don't know if we're going to make it up that hill. Like, I think we're going to end up, like, on the ramp. But at least we're not on the main throughway, you know. Well, sure enough, uh, hit the clutch and we actually rolled up the ramp and rolled into the toll booth. And the car made its final gasp at the toll booth as we came up to the toll booth. <laughs> so I look at the lady and I said, uh, we just ran out of gas. And she goes, like, right now? I go, yeah, right now, right now, right now. Like, we're out of gas, completely. <laughs> and she's like, oh, no, that's horrible. And I go, oh, no, it's great. We're not out of gas on the throughway. <laughs> so she kind of laughed, and we paid her a toll. And uh, Jeremy and I get out to push the car, and we start pushing the car. And he drops his phone, and the guy behind us beeps. And the lady in the toll booth yells, hey, hey, your phone. So he runs back to grab the phone, and the, where we're pushing is kind of uphill, so the car starts to roll back. So I kind of lean up into it and catch it and get it moving forward again. And uh, he comes back in and, you know, helps and kind of start pushing it off to the side. And before we even got, like, maybe 50 feet pushing the car, this couple and their family pulls up next to us and asks us if we're okay. And uh, <laughs> so we, we, we kind of, I yell to her, yell to them, like, you know, well, we ran out of fuel, but we're okay. We're just out of fuel. And they say, oh, do you have a gas tank? And we said, no, we don't have a gas tank. And they said, all right, don't worry about it. We'll be right back. We're going to go get you gas. So they go up to the, the gas station up around the corner. They get us gas. They buy a gas tank because they don't have one. They get us gas. They bring it back. They wouldn't let us pay for the gas or the tank. And they fuel us up. And our downtime was literally maybe 15 minutes from completely running out of fuel on the New York State Thruway. So uh, I kind of attribute some of that to uh, the fact that I wasn't going to let something get to me stupid like what happened in the morning with the, with the coffee breaking. Shout out to Josh at Citystead. <laughs> if you haven't checked out the Citystead channel, check out Josh's channel, the Citystead. Uh, he was just relating a story the other day. This should not happen to an adult, and he ran out of fuel, too. Same day that it happened to me. Same kind of awesome thing. Uh, like, you know, he just lucked out that the situation came out well. Or somebody was watching over him, whatever, however you look at that. Anyway, check out the city stead as well. Same, same day. Pretty cool. Anyway, it's an excellent story. I, uh, I wish I had gotten their contact information because they were really nice people. And, uh... It was really nice to have someone help us out. Um, but it just reminded me to always stay with that thing. Pay it forward. If you have, if you have the opportunity to help someone, help them. Because someday it might be you. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. I hope you found this interesting or informative. If you want to know more about the Mohawk Canal, I may do a video on the Mohawk Canal and some of that kind of stuff if I see enough interest in it. So comment down below if you want to see more about that. And thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.